Tifu by spending $20 on apples because I didn't know how self-checkouts worked. So today I went to the grocery store on my lunch break. Not a big trip, just going there for two things cream of chicken soup to make stroganoff and bread flour to make bread. While I was there, I saw a bag of Honeycrisp apples for $3.50 a pound and thought sure, why not? So I head to the checkout and I scan the flour and set it in the bagging area. This is where the fuck up happens. I don't put the flour in the bag, I just set it next to the bag. I then set the apples down, see that they're produce, and punch in the little code on the bag. The apples come out to like $20 with tax, and say that the bag is 5 pounds. I'm a bit surprised by this, but wanna get home, so I scan the soup and put it in the flour in a bag and head out the door. I'm to the door when it hits me. The flour. The 5 pound bag of flour. The bag of flour that's in my right hand and obviously weighs more than the bag of apples in my left. Dear reader, the place where I put the flour was the scale. You know the thing where people scam self-checkouts by claiming that things are bulk flour? I did the opposite of that. I scammed myself and paid $20 for like 8 apples. DL Doctor Don't Compare Apples to Flowers I don't fully understand how you did it. Because self-checkouts notice weight discrepancies and scream at you with unexpected item in bagging area, or I can't remember what it is for lower weight. I don't put the flour in the bag, I just set it next to the bag. DLDROP didn't do anything wrong and the apples really were just 5 pounds of apples for $20. How do you like them apples? And instead of walking back in and talking to customer service, you sat in your car and posted this missive. There's no shame in talking to customer service and correcting your mistake. I'm more concerned about the chicken soup being used for stroganoff. Cream of chicken soup for stroganoff, what recipe have you been reading up? I think your screw up was paying $3.50 a pound and not knowing the weight of 9 apples. At that price, 20 bucks sounds accurate. Yeah that's not how that works. The scale is part of the scanning area. Plus a bag of flour is 5 pounds or bigger on its own. Those pre-packed bags of apples are usually pretty hefty, you likely got one that was about 5 pounds and at 3.50 pounds $20 is about right. From the way you describe it, I've never seen a self-checkout station built like that. There's only two grocery stores where I live three if you count Walmart. Our omnipresent overlord and the self-checkout is the same at all of them. The scale is part of the scanner itself so the only way you could do this is by leaving the flower in front of the scanner. Even if you pushed it aside so that only a corner was still on the scale, it would still be in the way of you scanning the apples. It would be hard to make a mistake like this. Haven't read all the comments, but I can't get past you bought cream of chicken to make stroganoff? Dude you bought honey crisp apples of course it was $20 for a bag of 8. Tell me you didn't just eat your mistake and immediately post it on Reddit. You left the flour on the scanner while you scanned the apples? Because that's where it weighs. The place with the bag only checks to see if you added an item. It does not calculate the price by weight. The scale in the scanning area does. Phew. Thunk maybe you just overpaid for apples. Lol only way I'm paying 3.50 a pound is if I get to pick it straight off the tree. And that only happens once a year around here. Lol. It's one apple, Michael. How much could it cost? Wait, the scale is the scanner. You setting the flour next to the bag and not in the bag makes no difference because it's all in the bagging area. Your fuck up is paying $3.50 per pound for apples. The bag of apples does not cost $3.50 total. It's one bag of apples Michael, what could it cost, $20. GIF GIF EQ MDVT 69 LEC 448 Place your item in the bag. Most self-checkout machines will detect if you didn't place the last item in the designated bagging area. I can't remember a single self-checkout where this was not the case. Perhaps you did indeed buy that much of Honeycrisp apples. And Honeycrisp apples are expensive and big, and 8 largish apples can easily be $20. What kind of self-checkout are you using? The weighing scale is usually on a different level than the bagging area. Meaning there is no way you can confuse the bagging area with the self-checkout. Not to mention that the scale is integrated with the scanner. So you had to have the flour on the scale when punching in the apples then dropping the apples on top of it to weight it. Also usually when apples are pre-bagged it's a set price and not by weight. Seems like a BS story. On the bright side, you still get to keep the doctor away for many days. The apples come out to like $20 with tax. 
Is there a state that charges sales tax on fresh fruit? I'm a bit surprised by this, but wanna get home. Such a hurry that you didn't have two seconds to call for help. But you have two million seconds to kill in Reddit. LOL. I got pretty mad at myself last time I went to Whole Foods. I bought $20 worth of apples, and when I got to the parking lot, I tripped and dropped both of them. I mean it's a bag of apples, how much could it cost? $20? Why would you post this? I would never have paid $3.50 for a pound of apple in the first place, that's like buying steak. You saw that there was a discrepancy, regarding the weight and the cost of the apples, you actually stopped noticed, you were startled, and you didn't think of going back with the receipt or flagging down the employee on the floor? Seriously? You don't just fuck up, you wanted to fuck up lol. Bullshit. The tiff who is using self-checkout at all. Where I live the flagship Walmart in town is accusing anyone who screws up self-checkout of shoplifting. Literally calling the cops on every single one, banning them from the store and forcing these people to go to court. Just for making a mistake. Not because they were actually stealing. Their loss prevention staff are required to catch a certain number of shoplifters per shift so they'll target anyone they can. And since it's the flagship store, other stores in the area are going to adopt that nonsense and use it at their stores. I routinely spend close to $20 on apples. That's only like 10 honey crisps. I still want to destroy all self-checkouts. It's the one area I go full Luddite. I think you're legally allowed to steal stuff next time. Yeah go to customer service and get your money back. Why did you pay it in the first place? Just talk to the people. I'm he real fuck up is you don't know how to fix your mistake. Stop and ask someone. Why are people so anti asking for help? Just ask someone. It's not hard. You are just ahead of your time. Pretty soon apples will be $20 a pound. 4011 for everything. It's one bag of apples up, what can it cost? $20? I'm surprised your self-checkout let you continue without bagging the flour. Self-checkout is there to save money, not spend more. How much could a banana cost? $10? Here in Japan, 8 apples would cost $20. A self-checkout wouldn't allow you to scan the apples if you didn't put the flour in the right spot. Your refu was buying $3. 50 pounds apples. You fucked up, but not how you think you did. You could have walked back to get a staff member to correct your mistake and issue a refund for the difference, the fact that you took the loss is astounding. Take your receipt, your apples, and your flour back to the store. Explain it to them. They can do a return. If you bring the two items they can confirm how the flour's weight, when added to that of the apples, exactly yields the price you paid. I mean, I wouldn't bother, because $20 doesn't move the needle for me, but if it does for you, go back. If you actually did screw up, go talk to someone and fix it. Good grief. Apple's doing an Apple thing of overcharging, smiley face. I never go through self-checkout with produce. I don't know if I have Cosmic Crips or Rome Apples or whether they are organic. I refuse to use self-checkout. I don't work for them and haven't been trained to be a cashier. They don't even offer a discount for doing free labor for the corporation. If there is no open cashiers, I leave or check out at customer service if somebody is there. Talk about first world problem. This is George H.W. Bush levels of disconnect. First buying expensive apples and not having a good sense of what a few apples should cost, second by not knowing how to use a self-checkout. Anytime I buy produce from Walmart I find the cheapest veggie and say that the jalapenos I'm buying is white onions and save $2 per pound. And if you get caught just say it was an accident and pay the difference. I once rang a customer up on self-checkout and charged her for 60 instead of 6 apples. We had to manually refund 54 apples. It sucked but she got her money back. Did you at least get the good apples? Did you take them back or grudgingly eat your apples? I hope they were tasty if so. At least you got the Rolls Royce of apples. You might take solace in the fact that rare apple varieties cost more than that. Just pretend you are eating some gourmet rare grown variety as you dig into the stupid gala or red delicious. I've unintentionally stolen things from Safeway on my last two shopping trips because of self-checkout. Were the apples good at least? Ha 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 the old ring it up as an apple trick in reverse. If you go back to the supermarket they should be able to correct it for you. And the balance in the force returns. 
Apples are pretty heavy. My first week in Korea I bought three bananas for $15. I knew I did something wrong on the self-scan, but was too embarrassed nervous to ask someone for help, plus didn't know any Korean, and didn't want to try and explain the situation to anyone. Paid for M and never used the self-scan for loose items again. Also never told the story to anyone until now.